With the increase of anthrax cases in various parts of the country, measures are being put in place. In the recent past, authorities have been confiscating and burning infected meat products. This has come with it a loss in business. As you can see, there's no one at the shop. So I don't know who's going to buy. It's every butcher which is affected. If a butcher is affected, meaning us, we are more affected because a lot of Zambians eat a lot of meat. The Zambia Association of Manufacturers has since raised concerns on the effects of anthrax on the meat industry. The main problem that I think we see is where does it, where is the, the source, right? And I think it's affecting a lot of our certified uh, producers or manufacturers where we're finding that the consumer is picking up um, products from a unregistered butchery or uncertified, you know, so butchery that's not certified. And I think that is the core issue we need to look at is the industry is suffering. You know, if you look at the meat sales have uh, dropped uh, considerably. The association has called for enhanced sensitization by all local authorities in the country. So let us look at the certified suppliers. So Ministry of Local Government needs to do some housekeeping through the councils and instructions through the councils to say, look, who are the manufacturers or the processors of meat that we can stand by, right? And I think that is very, very important because when you look at certified suppliers, you are giving a level of confidence to the consumer. Meanwhile, the local authority in Lusaka says inspections have yeah, continued. Of course, uh, they stab on uh, traders who want to actually trade in meat. So we are there to ensure that uh, we keep this issue of uh, selling meat without uh, uh, a, a license or without uh, uh, authorized papers. So we are on top of things. Fortune Malata, ZNBC News, Lusaka.